So let's talk about the application that we are going to build as part of this uh, workshop. So the application we're going to build is a simple photo sharing slash ranking application. It just grabs photos from your camera. You can share them with essentially everyone that's in the app, like and browse through them. Uh, it will use a camera, a web service uh, that's sort of binary, uh, multi-part upload, share button, image viewer, and uh, other functionality. We will not use the GUI builder, which is normally more convenient for developers working with Codename One. There's a lot of uh, GUI builder tutorials out there uh, in the how do I section and everything. We won't go in there mostly because it's harder to, to teach GUI building uh, through code. So we'll do an entirely hand coded application here. Uh, so first thing, we'll go and see a demo of the actual application. So here I am in uh, NetBeans right here. And as you can see, this is the actual full source code of the application, which you, you should be able to download uh, from the appropriate link around here. And uh, I'll just show it running on the simulator uh, and also walk, walk you through the codename one simulator. Now I'll notice I just pressed play, I can press debug and do pretty much everything else you could expect in a codename one application. Uh, I can press uh, place breakpoints, everything like that, and uh, here the application is loading, it's connecting uh, to the web to fetch uh, the pictures. Once the pictures are here, you see them animate into place. I can use pull to refresh to uh, update uh, the pictures, and as you can see the updates arrived. I can uh, take a picture. Notice that it doesn't use the internal device camera, but instead uh, opens uh, a file chooser dialog and I can pick uh, pretty much any photo that I might have here and select it and that photo uh, is essentially added as if it was captured by a camera. I can click a photo and I can uh, swipe through photos like this. Obviously they'll take uh, couple of seconds to download from the web service. Uh, here we go, that's the full size photo. I can uh, use a right click drag to do a, a sort of zoom into the photo. That's actually me speaking at a convention. And here's a different photo and I can pinch and zoom and do all sorts of things like that. I can like the photo using this button, I can press share and it will open a native share dialog, get information about the photo where it actually opens a progress and uh, shows me information about it, all sorts of uh, data about the photo. And obviously I can, uh, everything works with uh, rotation uh, and uh, pretty much everything you'd expect uh, in that regard. I can uh, replace the simulator with a different simulator like an iPad, or uh, even an old Nexus device. I can, for instance, see it in a tablet. We didn't create a special UI for a tablet for this particular application, mostly for simplicity's sake. So it will be roughly the same application, only with a more Android-like look. Uh, notice that when running on an Android device, it will look rather different uh, because it will use the native action bar on the actual device. So. Uh, this is the ba these are the basics of the simulator itself. The Codename One application, uh, as you can see here, is, uh, has quite a bit of functionality that I'm not getting into. Uh, it's got a relatively large set of preferences uh, available at your disposal. Uh, the ability to configure all sorts of uh, hints and uh, information like the application title, its icon and everything uh, you would expect certificates for iOS with all sorts of additional options for Android, for Blackberry, for Windows Phone, etc. This is a pretty rich set of functionality that you can explore. And you can obviously send builds for all the relevant platforms using the Codename One cloud. So let's proceed with the presentation.